Greetings everyone. This tutorial is designed for students at Ted Rogers School of Management at Ryerson University to analyze data um, dealing with uh, retail, consumption, and the like. The software we are using at the moment is SPSS and following are the topics that we will be discussing today. how to create new variables and in this uh, tutorial we'll be showing you two examples number one is the example dealing with uh, recoding and the other one is to use compute to create a new variable and then in recoding we'll show how one can recode um, one variable into um, itself or in in this particular example into a new variable the use of multiple response sets, what are these and how can they be useful, some basic graphing using Pareto charts, um, missing value analysis and to show what happens if you have missing values in your data set and what can you learn from values that are actually missing in your data set, some outlier analysis if time permits and also weighting cases in an analysis. So. First, we um, would like to mention that uh, the book that we are using is Statistics for Marketing and Consumer Research by Mario Mazzucci, and um, the author is based in Italy, and it's a fantastic book. I like it. It's, it's one of those books that does not have any photographs in it, so you can teach rather than paying for colorful photographs. Uh, there are data that we are using from the um, author, and the data are available at the link that you see on the website. So please click on this link to download the SPSS data files that we will be using for this um, assignment in here. Now, I will do something. I will say I, I would like to compute a new variable. And let's call this variable missing dummy. All right? And, um, okay. Now, should I recode it? No, let me. I misspoke. Let me say transform recode into different variable and EFS dummy all the specific the value is zero wait a second just give me one second right here Okay, so value zero, okay, good. It stays as zero. That's interesting, right? Say add and then we say value one no so eleven and we call it okay. Eleven add and value twelve. Let's call it twelve add and all of the values call it 1. Right. So 0, 11, and 12 were missing. We recorded them as is, and everything else is fine. Continue. OK, and let's change this to dummy to compute a new variable. And then now paste it. Ah, here it is. Right. This should be finger if I've executed this. Right, there you go. Now, let's call it missing dummy indicator, oh, missing indicator, don't we need that? Indicator, that's what we need. Missing indicator, add. And values, zero, not stated, and zero not recorded to record and by the way there's no one got it 11 is um, job not stated right and 12 is uh, failed to categorize right add and one is a job category not right 
this is a new nice thing. So I go back here and I say according to summarize cases, and this time I use my own independent variable. And I said, show me. So you know, hold on. Okay, so we click here. Okay, and here we go. Now. Again, 327 job categories known, uh, job not stated. Oh, states, damn it. Okay, no problem. Job not stated for and fail to categorize 169. Okay, total 400. But you would see that those who fail to categorize, um, their spending is 237, job not stated. It's again the same thing, but this time we've, we have found the average value for all others whose job category was known, and that's 446. So for those whose job was categorized, um, the average spending is 446. Those whose job was not stated is 518. And those who we fail to categorize is 236. So um, the, the key thing to note is that the total um, is coming out to be 376 um, pounds for the 500. Now this is the unweighted data. And I will going, I'm now going to weight the data set by um, annual weight. OK, so I say data weight cases and I select this as the weighting variable right so I select it here bingo done and I repeat the same analysis weight and I say summarize cases okay and now the interesting results are available so I will hide this uh, how do I get rid of this I don't need this get rid of log this now up here you see unweighted data down here you see weighted data um, so this is a sample of 327 individuals which in reality represent represent 1204 individuals and if you weight the data properly you would see that unweighted data had 327 people 446 pounds but once you cat um, weight it the n the average spending changes from 446 to 561 and those who did not state their job, their average spending was 566, a little higher than 518. And the average for the 500, which is in fact 1,800 individuals, was 388 pounds, much different from 326. So if you know the exact expansion factor for your sample, um, it is better to use it because the results could be significantly different in that case.